Hey everyone, George here, and welcome back to the Art of Water. So what we decided to do with this tank here with the peacock gudgeons is to uh, just sort of plant it a little bit more and add uh, a few more uh, items to the tank here. We did add some Siamese algae eaters. We did add uh, some snails, um, some nitrite snails, and... Uh, the uh, flow of the water, we reduced it a little bit here. It seemed like the uh, peacock gudgeons were having a little bit of a hard time uh, dealing with the flow of the water. So we did reduce that. But I think we're going to keep this tank style here. I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. We did do some planting in the front here, as you can see. And uh, we... Uh, hope that that will fill in over time. We also did a little bit uh, of adding uh, some more uh, petite nana and uh, uh, some anubias of different varieties to this tank. So let me know what you think about this tank and uh, what else I might be able to do to it. If you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up or if you want to make a comment. Now, as I want to remind you, there are five peacock gudgeons in here, two males, three females, and then, of course, we have the two Siamese algae eaters, which I know are going to get big for this tank over time, so we'll rotate them out of here for smaller, but uh, they're very good at uh, keeping algae down. Uh, have a little bit of an algae bloom that was on the leaves here yesterday. I noticed it, but uh, getting up this morning and checking on it, these leaves are absolutely picked clean. They're absolutely beautiful. So I would uh, love to hear your comments and uh, give us an idea as to whether or not you like this particular tank to leave it the way it is, or if you think I should do something else with it. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and of course, as always, um, we appreciate your comments and we look forward to talking to you again soon.